this house in the 18, you know, not, late 1898 is when he built it. He went to New York City and got Italian immigrants to come and do the beautiful woodwork, the tile, the fireboxes, and the stained glass. So the good old West Virginia boys cut the wood and built the house and knew how to do that. But uh, the guys in New York, these Italian immigrants, brought those skills. So that's what the fine details in the house were by Italian immigrants. And that makes Chef Tim very happy. This is some of my crew. Lee over here, Richard, and somewhere floating around here. What is your favorite part of working here? Uh, my favorite part of working here, this is a silly answer, but uh, I'm a costume designer and I like crazy clothes and they really encourage us to be ourselves and have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so getting dressed to come here is actually my favorite thing about working here, but that's a really silly answer. A fairly extensive renovation coming in here, or was we it? We don't like to talk about that. Where it was three months <laughs> <laughs> from dawn to you know to the next dawn. It was three months, night and day, renovating it and doing the things that we needed to do. But I must say, we were the lucky, lucky recipients of a lot of incredible work that had been done by people before us. Uh, Tim just got back from Honduras, where he went to Rocky Patel's Cigar Plantation, and had his own cigars blended. He chose the tobaccos and they were made to his specifications. So we have official Cafe Semino cigars. Um, and we have a little club of, of guys who come down here pretty regularly and have cigars by the river, fancy shots of whiskey. And actually Tim's getting ready for some sort of party relating to cigars. Okay, so so mama gets to keep the house and then dad and gets to have the And this is kind of the boys house. club a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. We have um, a group of guys that meet down here and have guy talk. and. It's pretty cool, actually. This is a crazy tradition. That, that, I mean, a, a superstition passed to me, passed on to me when we went to San Giovanni in Fiore. Tim's family said, "Oh, you open a cafe?" And I said, "Yes." They said, "You sell a wine?" <laughs> and I said, "Yes, we'll be selling wine." So you know, throw away the cork. He says, "If you throw the cork away, you throw your luck away. You save every cork." So, so you have did. every cork from every. Yeah, they're everywhere. You gotta love what you make, so what's your favorite thing to eat here? Oh, uh, there's, it, it just depends. There's a lot of different things. Yeah. Uh, anything, anything that's a little bit different or exotic is kind of neat. Um, uh, I couldn't really tell you. Could you just, your it's, just, it's, just, it's just too many different things. So you, uh, if you had to sum up Caminos in one dish, which dish would it be? Oh, right wow. Now? Oh my gosh. Well, okay, I think the shellfish pescatore is pretty incredible. It's a fiesta ware platter filled with, you know, all the wonderful things of the sea, clams and, and mussels and uh, the big prawns and shrimp and, and uh, calamari. It's just awesome. It's just in this wonderful boule base sauce and it's got penne pasta. Usually couples share it. It's awesome. We just want to give a shout out, <laughs> really, to Kanawha County, Kanawha yeah. Valley. That's our people. Would you say that's our base? Yeah, th yeah, that's the folks that keep us here. Yeah, Absolutely. and we love them. It's awesome. From like the border of uh, Putnam all the way up to Pinch and Elkie and uh, the Greater Kanawha Valley, we love you.